Hey, what's up gang? Lonely Wolf here with something a little new for you guys. Perhaps, perhaps not. Uh, it's a Moonlighter. It's a fun little uh, indie game out on Steam. It's been out for a while. I played it back uh, when it first came out. It had multiple updates since then. I only have ever logged a little bit of time, so we're actually going to do a new game. There's multiple slots. Um, so we're just going to go straight for a uh, new game. Um, we're going to go for hard, which is recommended. Uh, honestly, if I were to name these, I would have named this one easy, this one normal, and this one hard, but whatever. Uh, I would recommend playing it with the controller if you guys decide to go and pick it up if you like what you see. If not, uh, you can still play it with the keyboard. And of course you have narration. One night, mazes full of extraordinary- oh, I can't read that fast. Uh, they called them the dungeons. Strange, ever-changing ruins of unknown lands. Soon a village of the slightly curious took root near the dungeons. This they named Rainoka. Among the settlers, two groups shine brightest. Heroes and merchants. Glory and riches. But the dungeons proved too dangerous. They were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their depths. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the oldest shop, Will of Moonlighter. Long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons. So that's how you start in the game. Pretty simple. Exposition, exposition, and then it literally thrusts you straight into the battle. And the very angry Will. And sad. And so this is just uh, this is just the tutorial section. You can see it shows you you can move around. Um, I already know all the commands because I've uh, played the game before. But uh, left triggers for rolling, very simple. Uh, you can left trigger to jump over wide areas. And of course you just die immediately because that's how you do it. Uh, I don't think I was supposed to die just yet. Yeah, never mind. It's a tutorial. I guess it doesn't want me to do with him. Uh, oh, okay. Yep, these guys. And basically, your roll is your dodge. You can dodge attacks with it. And of course, we just start out with the poor guy's broom. And the goal of the game is to collect stuff. Um, you, you, the, the, it's a, it's an interesting type of genre of game. Um, you play as this guy, and he's not a hero; he's a merchant. So you go into the dungeons to collect loot, uh, which you can find in chests if I can get it to open. But it won't open because guess what? You got an enemy to kill. And as soon as you kill them, chests open, plus loot drops, you pick it up, goes into your inventory. There's all sorts of upgrades you can get, a place similar to an RPG, almost, in certain aspects. Uh, I think the, uh, um, I think the thing that sets this game apart, though, is its music, and uh, it knows what it's uh, set up to be, sort of, I guess you could say. Um, it, it's not anything groundbreaking, it's very simple, very straightforward. Uh, but it plays well, in my mind. And of course, this room you are going to die in. This is the obvious death room. You're not supposed to survive here. It just keeps spawning more enemies that you can't kill with a poor little broom. And of course, my broom isn't good enough to damage golems. Until I dodge into him like that, and then of course... It just keeps spotting more enemies and enemies until you just get... Chunked into a spot you can't get out of. At which point you die!
And this, this is the town merchant guy. He's like the village elder, I don't know what you'd call him. Basically, he's the old guy who tells you what's going on. It's an interesting little game, a great time waster. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily play it per se for its story value. Um, it does have an interesting story, uh, but, um, and it is a fun game, don't get me wrong, it plays very well. And your goal, as will, is to bring the town back to its former glory. <laughs> Stop using that brew. And then we get a little sword, thank you! Thanks, old fart. Anyway, so the, you split your time. At night, you go out into the dungeons and collect goods, and during the day, you sell goods to fund your journeys, uh, to get increasing loot, etc. So, um, the, he'll walk you through the shop setup. So you gotta open your shop. And people come in and they'll look at things and buy them. And you get information about goods. And so see, we just sold that one for 100 and it was a happy price. But look at this one. It's automatically already selling for 170 This guy's gonna come in and look at it and be like, what? And so then you can walk up to your table. And uh, your merchant notebook, um, let's see where that is, right here. So you can see items, um, what they've sold for before, um, what people's reactions were to them, their popularity, etc. And yeah, you can use the dungeons during the day. Um, they're just not as effective. I think. I can't remember now. It's been forever. And you can talk to people. Oh, wait. I need to equip my stuff first. There we go. Still got my health potions. You can get armor. Uh, other goods and such. Um, one thing you want to do before you go is to make sure your inventory is clear. And he won't let me clear my inventory. So I guess we go in with the inventory we have and I'll show you guys exactly how this little dungeon crawler works. You just slip in through your little door. Boom, here you are. Uh, there's different dungeons, obviously, and as you go through them, you find more and more goods. Um, and you get that little map in the bottom left corner of your screen. You wanna pick up the goods that you get from killing people. And of course, this little thing comes without, if I could play, um, a shield as well. So you press X to hold your shield up, and A to slam your uh, sword around. And it's been a long time since I've played. It's been like six months or so. 
Getting rid of these little things are as useful. No, no, I want you to face him with your shield out. I don't know if it blocks it. Yeah. There you go. And so you just want to go through the dungeons and collect the loot that you get from these guys. Uh, which you will take back to your market and sell. But keep in mind, goods can also carry intrinsic value. Yeah, oh. I stole my stuffs. <laughs> so as you can see, you get a key from each dungeon once you complete it, and then you can take it and do the boss mission. You gotta fill up your pendant. You fill up your pendant all the way, uh, which mine is now full already from the goods I've gotten. And uh, you can use that to uh, go back to town. You just hold it until it's full. And it consumes gold. And you use that and you can go to town. And of course, Mr. Old Man is going to come talk to us. Anyway, so you got your little village, and your goal is to bring the village back to life by going through the dungeons, and you got your town notice board to form you of those. So you can invest in the town. Uh, you can get new uh, new people in, so you can get an armorer in, you can get potions in, a retailer to buy things you might not have, different stuff, but it costs money to get these places in. And then you can buy upgrades for your shop, such as a bigger shop. Uh, you can get uh, boxes to put stuff in. You can get register, um, a better bed, a chest to store things in, etc. So that's what that little guy's good for. But anyway, when you enter your shop, you can come in here and you can approach your objects and place them and adjust their uh, price. So this guy we know uh, sold very well for a hundred, so we're gonna try selling him for a hundred and ten. Um, whetstone, you can place the entire stack of it. Um, I can't remember what whetstone's supposed to go for, but we'll just start with uh, fifty a piece. Uh, you got different things like iron bars. Hardened steel, glass lenses, etc. All these goods you get, you can utilize to sell them, or you can e eventually utilize them to build your own tools and weapons and stuff. Uh, but that takes time uh, to build up to a point where you can do that. So, I think golden cores are like seventy or seventy. I think. I anyway, you want to load your uh, you want to load your table up with everything. Um, that you want to sell. And when you're ready to sell, you open the shop in and wait for people to come in and buy things. Oof. Yeah, I think I pressed that whetstone way too high. And same with the iron bars. You mess customers up like that, they're not happy. So iron bars are way too high price. We'll drop those to 30 and 20. And what still we'll drop to 10. See 110 is a decent price still for the energized crystal. Oh okay, whetstone's way too cheap now. 
That's how you find out the value of goods, is by selling them. Ugh, golden core is priced way too cheap. Now you can sell for all day, in the bottom middle of your screen you see the clock. Uh, you can sell for all day or you can sell until you've used all your stuff. Um, and you can just keep going back and adding more things. Uh, never sold vine before, I think it's 20 apiece. Whatever I sold whetstone for last time was too cheap. We'll up the price on that. Then you can just place more goods out until people buy them. Not everyone will buy every time, but it happens. And this is how you fund your enterprise into the dungeons to continue upgrading your gear and eventually complete the story. I knew I priced that too low. Okay, that vine is not at a good price. It can be fixed easily. Just pop over, drop it down to $10. Yeah. Go for five a unit. Whetstone and T stone both still too pricey. Alright, while we're here, we can place more goods. Vine's still a little expensive. Was it the vine that was expensive? Maybe? I can't remember now. Lots of sticks that are too expensive. Okay. And so you see, you can just adjust prices based off of people, how they react to your goods. See, now I got my sticks at a good spot. And then as soon as night hits, your shop closes, regardless of what's going on. And then you get your little market report. And you can always sleep if you want. You've got your little chest that you can put stuff in. And free up your inventory till later. And yep, you've always got your little note right there. Anyway, I've been Lonely Wolf. Uh, this is an introduction to Moonlighter. I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, and we will be back at some point with some more Moonlighter. Until then, have fun in the dungeon!